Had something to do with something to pees, but not not exactly. Isn't there that. BJ's wholesale too? <laughs> I thought that that's was her, be cheap. That's uh, her, that's Heather telling you to stop talking about her. <laughs> <laughs> that place looks great, though. I mean, it really does. It does. I, I've never awesome. actually had food there, though, but it looks really good. Looks great. I've never had asparagus. So that is the Dude, honest guy's truth. That's amazing to me that you just. Tony's right. One of these days, we had to just have a, a a freaking vegetable barbecue one time at your house and just make you eat different stuff. Iceberg lettuce is garbage. I, I, I really love like iceberg it. lettuce. Iceberg lettuce is the best. No, it's not the best. It's the only lettuce that I'll eat. It's not the best. I ordered a sandwich the other day, and it came with this like green, leafy, dark green, leafy crap on it. it took it's like forever. spinach, isn't it? Isn't that the, the spinach it leaves? It was dark and it was green, but it said yeah. it was lettuce. That's it didn't better. look like any lettuce I ever eat. So but what I had to do... Did you eat it or did you just put no, pass? I had to take it off the sandwich. The unfortunate part is then the cheese to my sandwich was stuck on a stupid lettuce. So now I'm scraping cheese off this lettuce with my knife. <laughs> Why would you just eat it? It's sandwich. lettuce. Because it how, doesn't look right. But how different is lettuce taste? It doesn't have... From one to the other, it doesn't have that much of a difference. Of a, It barely has a taste. I like the crisp, cool, refreshing taste of iceberg lettuce. <laughs> You like lettuce that you can buy a bowling ball of it for like a dollar and a half. Absolutely. <laughs> Dennis in uh, New Hampshire. How you doing, Dennis? It's hilarious. Uh, you got to do three hours with Robin and take calls. Dude, I'll be happy to keep Robin on as long as she'd like to stay on. Sure. And you guys have the ability to call in. We can make that happen. You can talk to Robin if you want to talk to Robin. Yeah. We can make uh, that happen. We I actually would... have to test something too. Not not today, but I might have a way to actually have an actual phone number. Oh wow! That'd be kind I've of cool. been messing with it, but I haven't tested it live yet. I've only tested it with my with my cell phone to Streamyard, and it's worked. But I need to have like a third person do it. But we were gonna that would, that would be really cool. But I, I she actually gave me her phone number and told me to call her and said that she'd be cool. honored to come on the show. And I think that that would be a lot of fun. Because... Yeah, that'd be great. I think people will enjoy catching up with her. Yeah, yeah. So. That'd be great. So, uh, but I would love to have uh, Tony go to a market and, and you know point out stuff that I've never eaten. I mean, uh, what does has everybody tried everything? I'm just the only one that hasn't tried. Yes, this stuff? at fifty, you're that. you're fifty or almost fifty. Forty-seven. Forty-seven, dude. At 47 years old, I think I had tried damn near everything. Now, I, I will admit, I'm an adventurous soul. If you put right. it in front of me, I will try it. And I have. I've tried everything from monkey to monkey brain to to you name it, I've tried it. You know, especially when I was living over in Korea. A dog, a cat, a, you know, whatever the hell they would put in front of me, I would eat. I would try it. That being said... Most people have tried asparagus. Asparagus is not like caviar. You know, it's it's not like it's a rare thing. Asparagus is pretty common. I, I, there are a lot of things I haven't tried, but we'll have to go down. Like a pomegranate. I don't even know what a pomegranate looks like. It's that little, it looks like a grenade. Yeah, I don't know. So we'll have to do a show like that. It looks like a bumpy pear. Yeah, it's I, an I, avocado. I, I think that know. might be an avocado. I, I haven't tried that either. Yeah, I don't know that I've had pomegranate either. I don't know. Hey, but you've had an avocado, right? I've had an avocado. Yeah, it's gross. Yeah, guacamole, not a fan. Love some it. guac. I do love guac, which it. is weird because I don't like avocado, but I do like guac. It's weird. You ever tried guacamole? You know, yeah, you get you get the original stuff. You know, the good kind, like they make it Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> See, my, I'm going to be honest. I think that, and I told my wife this all the freaking time. No. I don't know what happened over my life. I don't know whether it was family trauma or drug use or whatever it was, but something happened in my early on development. Right. I'm thinking somewhere around 17, 18, 19 years old, somewhere around there. Where my brain just stopped and said, I'm not going to let you get older. <laughs> and so I kept these these thoughts of just being a child. Now my body and everything else has unfortunately gotten older. Obviously, I'm you know, getting I look more than 47, that's for sure. But I think my brain stopped. So when it comes to like issues and stuff that I have to deal with, my brain's like, no, 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 you don't don't worry about that stuff. When it comes to foods that I don't want to try, my brain's like, no, no, stop. <laughs> because just... I maintain this 
childlike innocence. Right. But the childlike innocence had definitely developed or stopped after puberty because I still have that in me too. Like, it was, sure. Like, all right. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yes. <laughs> like, there's always, <laughs> but so nothing has ever slowed down in my brain from when I was like, right. The age of 16 to like 20. How about this? Would you try this? The gummy hot dogs. Well, that's an interesting theory. <laughs> but I they're don't think hot I'm... dogs made from whatever they make gummy bears out of. Well, do they taste like hot dogs or do they taste like gummies? I don't know. I, I don't. Dude, it's so weird. Eric, that I do Chris Hager Presents with, sent me pictures from he was at some restaurant. You know, they were out playing a gig somewhere. And he sent me these pictures of all this different stuff, gummy stuff. It's like gummy hot dogs, gummy burritos, gummy. <laughs> There's like gummy everything now. It's made out of like candy, so it's like a candy hot dog. Yeah, I don't know if I'd eat that. I'm gonna know. get some and try it. I'm gonna, I will try it. I, I mean, they sell them at like Walmart or whatever, so I will definitely get some at some point. Maybe I'll, maybe that's what we'll do. I'll order a set for me and a set I'll, for you. And we'll try, try them on the I'll, air. I'll try. Yeah, that would be good. I'll try. That. Yeah, we should do that. We, we should, should have a food it. segment. Yeah, well, we do, Tony. Yeah, well, that sorry, but I'm saying like a food where like we try different for me things. and you I try different things. stuff. <laughs> like the Seth tries this for the week, right? I'll try. I'll try gummy hot dogs. You'll try asparagus. <laughs> there you go. It's called <laughs> reluctant maturity. <laughs> I guess that could be it. What do they call that? Maturity by choice. <laughs> <laughs> You've matured in the things you want to be matured in, and yeah, I'm, like I'm one of the few people that probably like lost a leg, and I was like, all right, but I get to replace it with a Superman leg. This is like awesome. <laughs> You're like, cool. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> the first thing I asked when I had my leg chopped off was, "What happened to the tattoos?" <laughs> like, I don't know if that's one of the first things that normal people ask. It is, dude. Let me tell you, I had a tattoo. I had tribal art on this arm right here. Yeah, that, that got burned off. You know when I get when I got in the in the fire in the explosion, and that was my first question when I first came out of the coma. As the first question I remember was, "Is my tattoo still there?" Because <laughs> as bad as I was hurting and I was you know just out of a coma and everything else, I still remember how bad it hurt getting that tattoo. And I was like, "Is my tattoo still there?" <laughs> and they were like, uh, "Don't worry about your tattoo, sir." <laughs> Worry about living. <laughs> right. Are they edibles? I don't think those are. I don't think these edibles. are edibles. Boy, that would be great. Oh, if you could get stoned eating hot dogs. Oh, my God. Talk about Chris Ake and kryptonite. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I did a commercial for uh, edibles, which is okay. weird to do when on, like, a talk radio station. Sure. Do. Um, well, actually, no, it was, it was a commercial on MMS that ran. For edibles, but I was working with Trip at the time, and I, I never tried those. I, I couldn't do it. No, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to. You know, alcohol is bad enough, but I, I think edibles. I, I like to be in control more than uh, that. Dude, dude, edibles are weird. I, I mean, look, I guess I shouldn't be talking about drug use, but um, <laughs> I was I was at a friend's birthday party maybe five six years ago. And another, and one of the guys that was there is also a friend, and he he's like, "Hey man, do you want a couple of gummies?" And I was like, "Yeah, all right." And I'd never done them, and, but I, I I'm I'll openly admit to my love of smoking pot. I don't do it very often, maybe three four times a year, but I do love it. I would love to smoke pot like three hundred and forty five <laughs> times a year. You know, I just don't. I a can't afford it, and b if I start, I won't stop, which is why I don't. But um. But so anyway, my, my friend offered me a couple of gummies or yeah, and he's like, dude, just eat like half of one, whatever. And I mean, they're, they're little, like a gummy bear. Right. And I was like, yeah, just give me a couple. And like, he gave me like three. I ate them all three at once. Whew. Dude, I was, I was out there in Strongsville at um, five guys. Yeah. I'm just in a chair and I can't get moving. I'm like. Oh, I gotta get up. I gotta walk around. I gotta, <laughs> and I couldn't go. I was like, "Whoa, these things hit me a little too strong." <laughs> it took me a long time. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna play a quick break and then wrap okay. things up. Sounds and good. And I'm gonna play play it at the beginning of the show, but I don't know if anybody missed it. I'm gonna play my favorite TikTok video. Okay. 
ever. Well, all right, cool. Not ever, but one of my favorite TikTok videos. <laughs> cool. cool. <laughs> so uh, we'll be back in a couple minutes. Hang on. Back here, the Seth Williams show with the Chris Aiken, and uh, I want to play this video. Okay. I think it's the most entertaining video that I've seen in a while. And plus, she's way hot. Oh my God, Staples actually sells Staples. I'm telling you, the, she likes uh, sporting goods. Apparently, she does I like sporting goods. <laughs> the stealing of your information is totally worth it. Go to TikTok and download it today. I should do sure. commercials for TikTok. Yeah, really. <laughs> we should be we should be TikTok influencers just for selling TikTok. No, yeah. no specific channels. <laughs> I'm going to answer Natalie's question real quick. Right. Um, yes, Natalie, those um, they are real, real gummy hot dogs. Here's an ad for them on Five Below where you could buy them. So you could actually go out right now and order them, and they'll be delivered to your ship to home. You can get them shipped to your house. So. <laughs> So yes, there are there is a such thing as gummy hot dogs. <laughs> well, hopefully we'll be trying some. I'm gonna try, yeah. I gotta try I gotta try new things, I guess. But. Uh, I haven't tried these yet, but I'll I'll give it a go, see what it tastes like. I hope it does it, man, if it tastes like an actual hot dog, that'll be kinda gross. Yeah, I, I don't know if I want to eat that. I'll I don't try know it. Hot dogs to begin with. What? What are you communist? It depends on where I'm at. Like if I'm at a ballpark, I'll eat a hot dog all day long. Yeah. I but if I, I, I get home, I look at it as it's like poor people food. Because when I make hot dogs here, I don't buy like good hot dogs. I buy <laughs> thirty for four dollars. Yeah, it's like those <laughs> Smithfield yeah. dollar fifty pack of twelve hot dogs and made you know, with mixed meat. Yeah, you don't know what the meat <laughs> actually is. <laughs> Anytime it comes with a banner on it that says all of the all of the beaks removed, you're like, yeah, I better not eat that. <laughs> and then I, I, because I still haven't gotten the tank for my grill, I when I make hot dogs, I just I boil them. Boil them up, yeah. And so then they they just taste soggy and crappy. Microwave, good enough. Yeah. Microwave for a minute, little piece of Swiss cheese on it. Now you're talking. Swiss cheese, that sounds pretty good. I put American on it usually, but Swiss is, yeah. a, Swiss Swiss is my cheese. new favorite cheese. So. Yeah, you put a little Swiss cheese on it, just a little. Not even like a whole piece. You like break a piece in half just so that you get a little bit of that flavor in there. Now we're talking. I want to thank uh, Jesse from uh, 10 years coming on today. There you go. Made your rock dreams come true, dude. Gave you one what that you many, really liked. <laughs> what, if many, uh, what if many rock dreams still to come? So. That's right. Well, we got more coming, so. Um. Monday. Who do we have on Monday? The tenth. Yeah, that's Monday. A guy from the Babies. That's right, John Bazaha from the Babies and Firefall. Yeah, he's going to be coming on to talk about. I think he's talking more Firefall because Firefall has a new album coming out. Oh, that'd be cool. If you believe that, Firefall has it. When was it? What was there? They were nineteen seventy two. Yeah, and what's funny is as soon as you said we're going to have him on, I yeah. went out with Heather and the song was on the radio, which is kind of weird because uh, Magic was having like an all seventies weekend. That, nice. That's and cool. So, so yeah, on. that'll be cool, right? Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah. So, uh, on Monday. Yep. So and... we're going old school. We're going to, for for the old heads that are listening, we're going old school for you with some old music. Well, I think that'll be fun. So we'll Yeah, it'll be great. On Monday, along with many other things. Yep, so yep. So have a uh, great rest of your week. Yes. Good weekend. Hopefully, I get my daughter back tomorrow. She's supposed to be flying <laughs> back from uh, South Carolina, but it's supposed to rain again. See, all the worrying you did about New York City, and that that clearly didn't turn out to be the problem. So get this one. All right. If, uh, now, if it's raining tomorrow and they have any kind of alert out, she won't be able to fly by herself. <laughs> so the plan is is that my dad will have to buy a ticket to fly with her on the plane all the way back to Cleveland. And then buy they won't comp ticket. that? No, and then buy another ticket to fly all the way back to south carolina that same night because they only go thursday and sundays uh, from mm. savannah airport to here and if you can't do that if there's no room on the plane or he can't get back on another plane he's going to be driving her from south carolina oh my god all the way up here your dad's your dad's how old 74 jesus and he's driving across the country no thanks i don't even like to drive from here to bay village Telethon Monday. <laughs> it's not the propane thing. It's only. <laughs> look, and I got this damn grill because I've always wanted a grill. Like, I haven't had a grill in you know, 20 years. I had one in my first place that I ever got on my own. And it was great. Love sitting there 
cooking some stuff up, having a sure. beer. It was great. So that one broke. I've always wanted another one ever since then. Couldn't get one because of the places I lived at. Right. And so I finally bought one. I was like, all right, sweet. I got a grill, patio, nice everything. It's great. Got on a slab of concrete outside the patio where I can cook, and it's going to be fantastic. Then I never got a tank. So now I've missed Memorial Day, which is a grilling holiday. Never yeah. got it done. Fourth of July, grilling holiday, nothing. So I'm looking at a uh, Labor Day, Christmas as my uh, <laughs> target grilling date. Nice. So we'll see if it happens. <laughs> Too funny. But thanks everybody listening tonight, and uh, God willing, we'll talk to you again on Monday. See ya. See ya. Hey, it's Seth. Have you ever wanted a message recorded by a really, really famous person? Happy birthday to your kid. Congratulations, you finally graduated to that niece or nephew or brother or sister. Or a happy anniversary to your lovely wife or husband. Well, today's not your day. Because we're not famous. You can have myself or Chris Aiken record you a message of your choice. And it's only going to cost you 10 bucks. Not like those $250, three, four, five hundred dollars $500 celebrities. You're going to get us. Recording is something hopefully entertaining and fun that you can keep forever. You can listen to it all day long if you'd like. A personalized message just for you. All you got to do is download the Cameo app or go to Cameo.com. C-A-M-E-O.com. Look up Seth Williams or Chris Aiken and we will record you a message. Who needs Brad Pitt when you have a face like this? Go to Cameo.com today. There's no place like home, and whether it's furniture, artwork, home accessories, appliances, or that one-of-a-kind collectible, Yellow Brick Road Online Auctions allows you to find everything you need from the comfort of your own home. The owner of Yellow Brick Road Auctions has been conducting online estate auctions for over eight years by providing homeowners with a stress-free process to liquidate all items that have accumulated over the years. I'm Melissa Mendici, owner of Yellow Brick Road Auctions. Log on today to find your heart's desire. Hey, it's Seth from Mario's Barbershop in Parma, 7526 Broadview Road in the Pleasant Valley Shopping Center right next to Big Lots. You got to check out Mario, man. Great guy, does a lot for charities, but can perform miracles with hair. He even made me look clean cut. Does my hair, does a great job. Love talking to the guy while I'm sitting there. It's a great place to go. Local business. You got to go to Mario's Barbershop in Parma. Mario's Barbershop in Parma, 7526 Broadview Road. Again, in Parma, Pleasant Valley Shopping Center, right next to Big Lots. Or give them a call, 216-520-1977. That's 216-520-1977, Mario's Barbershop in Parma. Trust Joe's Lakewood Computer at 14035 Madison in Lakewood. They have over 30 years of professional service handling laptop and desktop repair services, virus removal, and data migration, and much more. You can trust them with hardware updates to your computer's memory and hard drive. Call 216-651-3880. Whether you need a simple Windows install or you're interested in the latest computers for gaming, call Joe's Lakewood Computer at 216-651-3880. This is Tim Elkhorn, radio voice of the Cleveland Cavaliers for attorney Will Spiegelberg. Will Spiegelberg is not only a name you know, he's someone you can trust as your attorney no matter the circumstance. Will Spiegelberg is an attorney you can always count on. Will Spiegelberg is the attorney you should contact for all your legal work. When you need an attorney, call Will Spiegelberg at 216-233-4240. Attorney Will Spiegelberg, a great teammate. 216-233-4240.